Hello everyone, my name is Adam Kiji from Drum Steady Abroad on Instagram. If you're not already following us, please go and follow us at Drum Steady Abroad. We're also available on YouTube as Drums Study Abroad. So this video is a pre-departure guide and when we actually use the word pre-departure we mean when you're leaving your country of residence, be it Ghana, be it Nigeria, be it Dubai, wherever it is you're actually resident and actually traveling to school in one of the countries um, where probably we have probably sent you to. So if you are leaving your home country and going to study abroad, this is the video you need to watch. As an international student, you've just got your visa and you're thinking, what next? Well, basically, what next? First of all, it's very, very important that you take the envelope that you collected from the embassy, which contains your passport, your visa, and the letter which actually states that you've actually been approved for visa. And the letter which is usually issued by most embassies has very important information which you also use to register. And you may be asked for that when you actually get to the airport in the country where you are going to study. So that's very important. Um, we would also advise that in an envelope, you also take with you um, all the original documents you used to apply for your visa. So that will be um, your transcripts, your O-levels, your international passport, and whatever else it is you submitted, your CV, um, in most cases, you'd actually need those for registration. So don't leave the country without them. Yep, get it? So now you've got your visa. And if you already haven't um, paid for accommodation, it's very important that you actually get that sorted at this point. Most of the university partners we work with have on-campus accommodation, but there are lots of students that also feel that they don't want to stay on campus. There are also a lot of off-campus accommodation, so you should actually ask us or we can point you in the right direction if you're not really looking to actually stay on campus. But we would normally recommend that you actually do um, sort out your accommodation before you go because it's not really nice when you arrive in a foreign country, which in most cases will be cold, and you don't even know where you're going to. Even if you choose to stay um, in a hotel for a few days, that will class our com as accommodation before you actually find um, where you would finally stay. Um, but you have to make some accommodation arrangements. Book your flights. Um, we normally don't recommend students actually book flights until their visa is actually issued, just in case if there's a problem because if you booked your flight and for any reason you don't get your visa, then you run into problems. So this is actually really crucial. As soon as your visa is issued, then you go and book flights. Once your flights are booked or once your flight is booked, um, the next thing you need to worry about is your arrival services. How are you getting from the airport to your accommodation or how are you getting from your airport to your university? Um, you need to book arrival services. So that would include probably getting a, a, a taxi. Um, we at Drums also organise um, what we call a settle down service if you're interested. Um, so that will entail having a meet and greet in the airport. Um, and someone that will probably take you to do shopping and um, get you settled down anyway within uh, the first couple of hours when you arrive. So if you're interested in any of our arrival services, do ask and we'll be very happy to provide the information. Something that's really important is that you actually order some currency or order some money or change some money. Um, so before you leave your home country, it's very important that you change some money into the currency of the country where you're going to study. If you're going to the US, you need to change some dollars, which you would have to take with you in cash. Um, if you're going to the UK, you'd have to have some pounds. If you're going to Ireland or any of the European countries where the euro is um, being used, you would also need to get um, some euros. So don't travel without any cash. You need cash for the first few days before you open your bank account. And um, you need cash to pay the taxi when you arrive if that's not already been arranged um, to be put on your school account. And you probably need cash you know, to feed and move around just for the first few days before you're able to open a bank account. And probably if you don't have a way to transfer some money, you'd also need cash to actually put into the account which you hope to open. When you arrive. 
Dear students, we've got one extra tip for you. Um, once you get your visa, please make copies of that and send it to your family and also send to us if we did your admission. Um, in instances where people misplace their passports or you know just can't find it, that will really save you a lot of time and headache. If at least you have a copy of that, it, it will be resolved fairly quickly with the embassy. So if you want to get your visa, please just make a copy, send to us or our university partners, and also make sure a member of your family has it as well.